Being a solo game developer is hard, but making a successful game is even harder. Now to make things clear, I'm not a game developer, but I can imagine that it's a hard process of making a game and publishing it and making money off of it. Indie games will always be the underdog of the gaming world. And sometimes a game as simple as Buckshot Roulette or Lethal Company can dominate the market. When a big AAA studio who has investors and hundreds of employees, they can also make the game looking like absolute dog water. And that became a trend in recent years. Well, in today's video, I'll be discussing why indie games can dominate the gaming space and sometimes they can't, and why AAA studios will always win, instead of a small indie game developer team. Being a solo game dev or having a team of passionate game devs can be a big advantage, because they are simply have more direction and control. They aren't bound like a corporation that is soulless or investors telling them what to do and how to do it, but simply they already know what they're going to do, but they do it with passion to making a good game. Now I get it, some, but not all, but some, indie games can be cash grabs or straight up scams, but also AAA titles can do the same as well. But this is also important, so pay attention. What you pay is what you get. If you pay $70 or $60 for a AAA game, you're going to expect a $70 worth of fun and enjoyment. Also, if you pay $60 or $70 just once, you're going to be satisfied with the game for a long time. Maybe even years, decades or centuries even. Who knows? A great example for this is GTA 5. I know, GTA 5 is not looking too good, as it used to, but it gave a lot of people, myself included, a lot of fun and long-term memories and enjoyment from the game. Even after of 11 years of the game being out, and right now has one of the biggest communities in the gaming space. But an indie game can give the same experience to a community. That's why Lethal Company is so popular, it took a different approach to the gameplay, it's not that expensive and now it has a huge following. Indie games aren't soulless, at least a big majority of them. They won't ask you for microtransactions, they won't bombard you with a 70 gigabyte download or give you a free pointless gift, but rather the gift is the game. Indie games like to satisfy you and make you enjoy the game rather than, hey, here's a new skin or a new weapon. And gamers are tired of spending $70 on a game that looks promising and they slap in the face because the game came out half-baked and most indie games get a good reputation well because they promise on their promises and make the game actually playable and the community respects that when a company or a studio keeps their promises now you the viewer it's time to face a reality check AAA games will always be winning no matter what the company does and not even the government can stop them sometimes and that's the hardcore truth. You see, dear viewer, when you have a company that makes you a hundred billion dollars a year, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. The best example of this is Blizzard. Blizzard is still making a shit ton of money, which I respect, but also they've created one of the most popular MMOs out there called World of Warcraft or for short, WoW. And their business model is pretty smart compared to small indie game studios who make money through crowdfunding or merch or other investors. You see, Blizzard has a subscription-based model, makes you pay monthly and not only that, they bombard you with microtransactions to get you pay the next skin or mount. And Blizzard has something even more, their secret weapon, an unlimited customer base. Is the world you see, if you have a decent computer and some money and good internet, you can sign up for me and if you click that red subscribe button. The entertainment industry is so big, in this industry gaming is even bigger than music, movies or sports, because gaming makes the most money. But indie devs on the other hand, they have one advantage. That is they are small but also they tap into a niche that makes them thousands of dollars, and they actually care for making their games. 